Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Ronnie. This is my craft corner. And a long time ago, I used to have a roommate named Lonnie. Lonnie and me had such great times. I spilled it all over your iMac. Oh no, there's a bug. Is that dirty dishwater? There's a little bit of hairs on top of the four molars I keep on there for some reason. <laughs> you have a prank! But after a while, he got too sick of the pranks and he moved out. But after hours of begging on the phone, Lonnie actually decided to move back in. So I just texted Lonnie and he said that he'd be here any minute. Hello. Lonnie? What are you doing here, my boy? Come on, I'll let you in. Get your head out of here. Come on in, it's so bright out there. Let me show you around. This is my craft corner. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> he doesn't know this is part of the video. <laughs> well, anyway, how you like it? I like it. It's not intimidating or scary at all. It doesn't remind me of the Joker. <laughs> well, Lottie, you're probably wondering, where the heck am I sleeping tonight, right? I'm pretty tired from the walkover. Well, come on, I'll show you. All you gotta do is grab yourself the stool and jump up on my desk. Oh, yeah, simple as that, huh? And then you move the TV. Oh, okay. Don't break it. It's a very delicate TV. And then you go through... <laughs> The secret door. Maybe I don't need to sleep. I'll just rest here. No, Lonnie, you oh, okay. can, no, yeah, don't sleep yeah. in my craft uh -huh. corner. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come that on, won't, come on. Do. Oh yes, Lonnie. Ready to go down the slide? I'm not afraid of where this will lead me at all. Be careful. I'll this see you later. Kind of like an allegory for how I got here, I guess. See ya. Goodbye. Yeah, what could go wrong? <laughs> well, I guess it's my turn. I'll be right down, Lonnie. Is this how they make the Saw movies? Welcome to my basement, Lonnie. It comes with a slide that comes from the craft corner. Slide right into the basement, check. So that's how you have to enter, or I guess you could also take the stairs. <laughs> and who is this? Oh, this is your roommate. An intellectual, my apologies. Hello, shalom, my friend. He's actually my stunt man. What do you think? I'm afraid of my life. He's a real good friend of mine. Um, he has some great hair and he has a great sense of style. <laughs> How do you feel about where you're sleeping tonight? Uh, Mr. Krabs warned me about these hooks, but otherwise, whatever, what, what could go wrong? Oh, yes. Well, I'll let you get situated, put away your things. Lonnie, you didn't even bring a backpack. What's I up with that? I won't be looking for an escape. What? Yeah. Okay, Lonnie, I'm going to let you get settled and do your thing. I'll be right back. I'll just be down here with the horror masks. Okay, have a good one. <laughs> it's time to prank Lonnie. Okay, guys, so for this one, you're going to need some toilet paper and a lint roller. You're going to put them together. Why is there toilet paper blue? I don't understand. Anyway, you're going to grab a hair dryer. Oh, I think we're going to use something a little stronger than a hair dryer. And then you're going to blow on the toilet paper. It's going to send all the toilet paper just flying, just going everywhere. Take that. This looks like a good prank. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm going to need is a leaf blower. And instead of a lint roller, I'm actually going to use this paint roller. I tried it with a lint roller once, and it didn't work very well, but this bad boy, huh. It fits on here like a charm. Look at that. Oh, just kidding. It doesn't spin. I might have messed. I gotta take some of this paper off. Oops. Okay, I found one with uh, way less toilet paper on it. This ought to work. Oh, yes. That's more like it. Look at this. Roll, roll. Thank you so much to anyone who said bless you. Oh, my gosh. I have to tape this bad boy to the leaf blower. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, guys. It's time to go prank Lonnie. Here we go! Oh, hey, Lonnie! Dude, it just blew through the toilet paper! Other Robbie would have never done this to me. What do you think, Lonnie? Was it good? It re reminds me of home. Wait, what? You've been great! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. So 123GO has this really funny prank that you can do on people who just love tape. The 100 Layers of Tape Challenge. You just gotta find some solid tape your friends do and just keep taping them to it. Yeah, put a piece of tape over their mouth so they can't talk. And then you can remove whatever they're standing on and then it, they're just floating. Wow, that's revolutionary. I have the perfect idea to try this on Lonnie. Oh, hey Lonnie. How's it going, buddy? I'm chilling, recovering from nothing. Well, I'm really sorry about that prank from earlier and um, I have a surprise for you. What? Sorry. <laughs> just haven't slept very well, ever. I'll just come upstairs and I'll show you. 
These stairs? Yeah, just go right on up. I don't think I've ever gone up these stairs. I'm not sure I've ever wanted to. My bedroom's up there. Don't oh, okay. just go. Yeah, Perfect. we're in the basement. Oh, God. Okay. I really don't know why my basement comes out of my closet, but, you know, here we are in my master bedroom. And, uh, huh, isn't this cool? Do you know what that is? It's where the firemen come from. Uh, yeah, this is our fireman pole. Isn't it fun? You can just spin around on it. Woo! Woo! Come on, Lonnie, just uh, sit on down. I'll do some really fun fireman tricks for you. Oh, man, <laughs> this is just like Hooters. Start out like this. Run running, man. Oh, my God. Where is he going? That boy going. Then you can kind of do this kind of thing. <laughs> Whee! You can also do one of these, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, you like, is this good? <laughs> you like that? No, you keep asking me that. I want to reevaluate my good scale. Here, now it's your turn, Lonnie. <laughs> Get on up there. Uh, what, what do you do, just press this? <laughs> you got games on your pole? Oh man, that requires some strength. Wait, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lonnie, remember that one time that you taped me to your garage wall? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? My name's Robbie. I'm taped to a wall right now. <laughs> You would never be mad about that, right? <laughs> Especially because it was your idea. Well, now it's your turn to be taped to this fireman pole. I do love the fireman. Just stand right there, Lonnie. Don't worry. Intern! Intern! Okay, I'm doing my job. Come on. Okay, <laughs> grab some tape and help me tape this man to a pole. I need to take no. That's what we need to do. That's today's craft. <laughs> I'll do you on the other side. I'm starting to feel like this was a setup. Ah, 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 ah. Well, we had some hiccups there, Lonnie, but now you are now taped to the pole. How do you feel? Confined and sexy. I like uh, how you're still riding the skateboard. That's a, you got some cool tricks going on. It's actually like the best way to do this. I can't fall. Oh, okay, Lonnie. So now uh, we're gonna try to spin you on the pole. Can you put your, can you put your feet back? Is that hard? <gasps> oh my God, he's actually standing. Okay, I'm gonna spin him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so surprised this works. I'm gonna puke in my mouth and maybe yours. Oh, friend, oh, friends. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Well, have a good one, Lonnie. See, See you later. Uh, have a good nap. Um, I'll let you out later. Uh -oh. I'm becoming a butterfly. I'm almost ready. <laughs> <laughs> I need my inhaler. Let's cut you out, Lonnie. Be real careful. Got some vital organs back here. My liver. It's enlarged from years of abuse. <laughs> well, there you go. You are now free. <laughs> oh my God, I don't feel free. Did I kind of want to save this tape for memorabilia's sake. Whoa, I wouldn't want anything weird to happen. We're bad. Oh God. Or even in. I gotta get the out of your fireman safety. Okay guys, so you're going out with your friend on an evening stroll. So you're just out there dancing with your friend, having a good time, and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is a no hand zone. So you're just gonna take your hands off the steering wheel and go right off a cliff. <laughs> I don't really see how this one's a prank, but um, I mean, I guess I'll try it on Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie, how you doing there, buddy? I'm fine. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? Am I interrupting something? I'm just chilling uh, with this guy. I don't want to pull you away or anything, but would you want to go for a spin in my sick new ride? I'm kind of reading about avocados right now, but I guess we could. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. It's so fun. Yeah, man, it's a brand new Stang and it's bright pink. Isn't it sick? <laughs> Supposed to have water in it. <laughs> I left it out in the rain, and as you can see, it's a convertible. Anyway, hop on in. Sounds great. Oh, yeah, very safe. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go for a little spin, shall we? It was at this moment that he knew he fed up. Oh, God! I'm sure I could park this. Isn't this great, buddy? Aren't you having so much fun? Oh, watch this! I know a fun trick! Oh my god! <laughs> that was awesome! So for this one, you're gonna grab a pickle on a stick and put it in some meltable chocolate. Ooh, yummy. Let it cool down a little bit, and then you put your sprinkles on. Hey, I got these yummy popsicles. Would you like one? Then your friend's like, yes. But little do they know, when they bite into it, they're gonna get something a little sour. Mm. 
Oh, it looks Ooh. like she loves it. <laughs> I bet Lonnie's gonna love this one. Okay guys, so the first thing we need is a stove. And then you grab yourself a pot full of water. And then you're technically supposed to put a metal bowl, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna put another pot inside the water. Grab your meltable chocolate. Oh my gosh, look how thick that is. It's like a crazy Hershey's, that's thicker than my hand. Whoa, I've never, that's a thick chocolate bar. Anyway, now we just occasionally stir this bad boy and wait for it to melt. And now that our chocolate is nice and melted, we go ahead and grab our pickles. Oh yes, these ought to do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of my craft sticks. Oh yes, the perfect material for any craft. Just gonna grab my pickle and dry it off a little bit. That way it's not so wet. This should help the chocolate stay on it a little easier. I don't know what kind of chocolate covered thing this is supposed to be, but we just grab our craft stick, shove it right in there. And now, just cover this bad boy in chocolate. Oh baby. Lonnie's gonna have a great surprise here. A real sweet treat, I tell ya. Honestly, I like chocolate and pickles, so I don't see how this could turn out bad, you know? Wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and now we have a beautiful chocolate-covered pickle on a stick. Now we just add sprinkles. Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It looks like a chocolate-covered chicken wing. Just completely cover it in all the sprinkles. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down, and then we're all ready to give it to Lonnie. Okay, now that this pickle is nice and cooled down, um, let's see how Lonnie likes it. Oh, Lonnie! Yeah, hello? <laughs> so I found this life hack where you make uh, your own popsicle. Doesn't it look absolutely delicious? Aside from that weird slime that I don't understand, <laughs> yeah, it actually kind of does. That's just where uh, the popsicle didn't freeze in the freezer. Yeah, I don't know, that's just some liquid. Oh, wow, look at that! You get a solid chunk of... Of chocolate, it's chocolate. It's all yours, let me know what you think. I think that I'm suspicious, but I love chocolate and food on a stick. And I can't see what it is through the chocolate in the back. I wanna puke for you. Why? <laughs> that's a pickle on a stick! <laughs> it like almost made me Projectile vomit. <laughs> the taste was really gross, but I thought I could handle it. <laughs> My body said no. Nope. You've been great. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I feel like Lonnie kind of liked it. Is there any more? No, I threw it all away. That was disgusting. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, me too. Happy birthday. So for this one, we're gonna need toothpaste and some Oreos. All we gotta do is put toothpaste inside the Oreo where the cream goes. Put the bad boy back together, and then when you see your friend, you can offer them one, and then they take it, and they're like, mmm, good Oreo. Why is it so minty? Oh, it's not supposed to feel like you're brushing your teeth when you eat these? <laughs> Look at that girl's face. That's the sound she's making. <laughs> I love it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need are some Oreos. Fun fact guys, this is my favorite cookie. My absolute favorite. I could probably eat this whole box right now, but I will definitely regret it later. So we just take our little Oreo, and then we break it in half. And Lonnie doesn't need this cream filling anymore. So we're just gonna scrape all this out. Oh yes, delicious. And then we go ahead and grab some toothpaste and just put it right inside of our Oreo. Oh wow, that definitely matches the filling color. Very nice, very nice. Oh yes. Carefully replace the top to our Oreo and just squish it right in there. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is gonna be a very minty Oreo. Oh boy! I think I need a little bit more. And that looks pretty solid. Okay guys, so I have the perfect plan. So I'm gonna tell Lonnie that this is the how many Oreos can you eat challenge. And I'm gonna make sure that he, oh my gosh, which one was it? Is it? Oh it is, okay. So I'm gonna take the toothpaste Oreo and I'm gonna put it on his side, three Oreos deep. That way, it's the third one that he grabs. Oh Lonnie! 
Huh? Hey, Lonnie. How you doing, my guy? Scared. Very scared. But good. Lonnie, I'm really sorry about the whole prank thing with the pickle and the, the chocolate. That was a real dick move of me. <laughs> Don't even sweat it, dude. I almost forgot how deceiving you were. Well, I wanted to make it up to you by uh, filming a really special video. This is the How Many Oreos Can You Eat Challenge? Probably a lot. To a tree, probably. So the goal is to try and eat more Oreos than the other person. This is actually a viral trend on the internet. Um, it's gonna be fantastic. Are you ready to do it? Okay. Okay, Lonnie, this is your side. Uh, you just go ahead and start from- From where specifically? Probably like somewhere. Probably like there. Okay, and we're gonna start right now! Here we go! Eat my dust, asshole. <laughs> You're drinking my milk. <laughs> Dunking it makes me eat it faster. <laughs> I always do this. You think I trust Nabisco? I do. Right, this one's clearly not been tampered with. Mmm. <laughs> 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 What's wrong, Lonnie? Does it taste a little minty? I told you not to trust those cookie guys. There's You've been pranked! What? It was you? <laughs> I put toothpaste in the Oreo! I can barely taste it. <laughs> well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Wait, are you actually throwing up? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Make sure I can feel it. Oh god, I like the first part of this one. So for this one, you're gonna need some glue and an empty hand sanitizer bottle. Go ahead and put your glue inside the little hand sanitizer bottle and then offer it to your friend. And then when your friend goes to use it, they're gonna rub it into their hands and they're gonna be like, oh no, my hands are glued together. <laughs> what did you put in this hand sanitizer? And then they'll never trust you again. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna need is a little bottle of hand sanitizer. And then we're gonna need a bottle of glue. Let's go ahead and take the top off of this bad boy and put it inside the hand sanitizer bottle. Ideally, this would be empty, you know? So none of the glue was coming out, so I just shoved a toothpick in this hole. It's a little graphic. <laughs> okay, let's see if that worked. <laughs> it really doesn't want to come out, though. Do I have a vice? I'm gonna go get a vice. Oh, hey, Lonnie, how's it going? Don't mind me, I'm just uh, getting advice. It's actually a buyer's market. It's, you gotta buy low, sell high, just so you know, financially. No, I said a vice, not advice. I really, I really appreciate that, though. Okay, yeah, just, uh, I'll be right back. These dividends aren't gonna get themselves. Okay, we're gonna try this again with our vice. Oh, yes. And we just need a good, solid squeeze. Oh, boy. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Solid squeeze. This is not working very well. Tighten it, tighten, tighten. Oh, wow, it's coming out, yes. Oh, oh, come on. Ah! Wait, I can't stop it! Wait, no! Oh! Oh, I messed up! Oh, I can't stop it now! It got clogged! It won't go in! Honestly, I think that should be enough. It really doesn't need to be that much. Go ahead and put that on. Oh, yes. That is much better. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this bad boy off a little bit. <laughs> hey, Lonnie, how you doing there, buddy? What's up, man? Well, um, you know how I made you sleep in this deep, dark, uh, dirty basement that's uh, kind of covered in dust and stuff? You know what? I do remember that. Well, I felt kind of bad, so I got you some hand sanitizer. This doesn't make up for it at all, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's not even full. And it's way too viscous to trust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he says yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do, eat this or something? <laughs> Is this how you get your kicks, you sicko? <laughs> What? What? It burns! What? Is it supposed to? It might just be the anxiety. Nothing's wrong with this hand sanitizer. It smells like hand sanitizer, or it could at least do some damage. What did you do? Reduce it to 98% of germs? I only left the most lethal one. <laughs> I can't sense any imminent danger here at all, so I'm just gonna keep having it. I'm gonna rejoice in this moment. That's a lot of hand sanitizer. Why are you putting so much on? I wanna get really clean. You're gonna put it all over your body next? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were gonna interview me about my hygiene habits. <laughs> well, honey, I actually have a little bit of a confession. Um, that's actually school glue. Ah! You've been pranked! Ah! Oh no. Now it's stuck on you forever. Just kidding. It's I hope I don't exacerbate the situation in a comedic fashion. Oh no! Hmm. 
Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I can't play iPhone games like this, my career is over. So you're in the middle of class and your friend decides to take a nap. And you decide, hey, this is the perfect opportunity to prank them. So what you're gonna do is grab a marker and then start drawing on your friend. But you're gonna make it look like a cut. That way, it looks like they cut themselves in their sleep. Ah, almost woke up. Oh yes, add a little bit of blood, and then you'll wake them up, and they'll see their hand and be like, oh my gosh, I cut my hand! And then they'll faint and fall back asleep, I guess. What a funny prank. But will this one work on Lonnie? Well, let's go try it. Okay guys, so it's about 1.30 right now, which is around the time that Lonnie takes his afternoon nap. So it's a perfect opportunity to pull this prank. I'm just gonna have to be really careful going down the slide with all this stuff. Okay, here we go. I'm just, uh, oh boy, oh, I'm gonna be real quiet. Oh, oh God. Oh, I really hope I'm not being too loud. Oh, oh my gosh, that was a lot. So Lonnie is sleeping right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna carefully put all my supplies right here so I have access to them. First thing we're gonna do is apply the prosthetic to his face. It kind of looks like Canadian bacon. Don't need these anymore. Let's go ahead and grab some spirit gum and apply it to our prosthetic. I'm gonna use my little fan to make the spirit gum more tacky. Oh yes, there we go. Now, I'm gonna carefully apply the prosthetic to Lonnie's face. Carefully apply it. Oh yes. John Kennedy. <laughs> oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's quiet, 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 quiet. Shh. Now we're gonna get some foundation and just apply it to the outside of this. Oh yes. Help that blend in real good. It's not blending in. Oh yes, this should help. Just keep caking it on there until it really just all blends together. Add a little bit of finishing powder. Put a little bit of finishing spray. Then we grab some lingonberry jam, AKA some bloody scab. Mm, this looks absolutely disgusting. Exactly what we need. Look at that bloody scab. Oh God, stick on there. Come on, come on bloody scab. You can do it bloody scab. I think I might have left it. There's no texture for this. Now I have to carefully remove all of my makeup stuff. Okay guys, it's time to wake up Lonnie. Good morning, Lonnie! What time is it? Oh my god, what's on your face? What? What is that? There's oh something god. all over your face. Is it blood? Oh my god, it's blood! Oh, you must have cut yourself in my basement! I was having a dream, I was having such a close shave! Lonnie, that bloody scab is really gross looking! <laughs> Thanks, I think so too. <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy because it's almost like you've been pranked! Did you do this? I did. That's not a prank. I'm harmed. That is me effects makeup, Lonnie. You added this in post? You deep faked this wound? <laughs> you CGI this like Avatar. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you fell for that, Lonnie. It doesn't even look that real. I'm kind of blind. It looks really real to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this absolutely works. You've been pranked. I'll see you later. Enjoy the rest of your nap, Lonnie. Um, oh, do you not have a blanket? Um, I'll make the. Do you guys think this is some sort of metaphor or something? Okay, you have a good nap, Lonnie. I promise I won't prank you ever again. Fire. Okay, guys, so this one's from a channel called T Studio, a classic channel. And they have some really classic pranks. So you see your friend, and they're eating an ice cream, and you're like, oh, I want that ice cream, but I want you more. And then you're gonna come in, and then you're gonna fake him out, because you're gonna eat that ice cream. And then you're gonna skedaddle out of there. Leave him in the cold. I bet Lonnie will never see this one coming. Oh, wow, what a wonderful, beautiful day. Lonnie, is that you? Nice day for a treat, isn't it? Oh, I guess it really is. That looks like a beautiful treat. Oh, wow. Just like you, you look like a... I'm happy that you're passionate about it. <laughs> it is mine, though. I love a man... Nothing could really distract me from not letting you have it. Just laser focused on this treat right now. Not ready to eat it, but I'm gonna soon. When the time is right... Anyway, Lonnie, I was just gonna tell you, I really love a man with a scar. Uh, and I think we should make out. <laughs> that is also surprising. And what the... God! What the dingus? What the golly? Good God! You've been praying! I stole your ice cream! Do you think a fall from this high would kill me? Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs>
Okay guys, so the other day, I was cleaning my bathroom and I happened to find a sparkler next to an incense holder. And that made me think, what if I put the sparkler inside of it and then I tell someone it's an incense? That's like the perfect prank. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on Lonnie. <laughs> oh, hey Lonnie, how you doing there, bud? I'm just chilling, you know, keeping it cash. So I don't know if you've been smelling that weird smell in this basement lately. Um, I think something might have died down here a little while ago. I just thought that's normal at your house. I thought it was you. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not actually normal. Um, my bad. So anyway, I got you this incense uh, for you to burn. Uh, that way to get rid of the smell a little bit. Um, here, move your feet really quick. Oh, thank you so much. Um, you can go ahead and light this bad boy whenever you want. Uh, that way it doesn't smell in here anymore. Oh, okay. That, I, that, I guess it is important and that we should do it now. What a weird piece of tape on the end of an incense. Wow. Come on, this thing must be broken. It must have dust on it or something. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh my God, Lonnie. Oh, oh, I think you lit a bomb. Oh, 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 wait, that's not an incense. It's a bomb. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. It's been nice working here. I guess we're going to die. So, it's been real. This thing's going to blow any minute. <laughs> <laughs> You've been pranked. That's not a bomb. It's just a sparkler, Lonnie. You know, 4th of July and all that. Thank you to the troops, respectfully, but it smells even worse in here now. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this original prank actually works. Did you fall for it? You're a bad man, Robbie. <laughs> okay, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need are some boxes. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a lot of boxes. These are beautiful boxes. I don't know where these boxes came from, the heavens. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is make myself a box body. So I'm guessing like, this looks like a good together box. Yeah, I like it, pretty good so far. And then I need some box legs. Oh, that is my feet box. This would be for my arms. Yeah, and I think uh, that'll do it. That should be my whole body worth of boxes, I guess. Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, I set up all the holes and stuff. Now I just have to put everything on. When does the prank end? <laughs> hey! I didn't see you there. How the heck are you guys doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my craft corner. This is where I try some of the most viral life hacks and crafts on the internet, so you don't have to. And I have a hidden teleporting slide that can take me anywhere. I'm gonna show you guys where I hide it, so don't tell anyone, okay? We won't tell nobody. Behind the TV? We have a secret door. And normally it can teleport us anywhere, but today we're just gonna go to my basement because it's just... Anyway, go, let's go to my basement. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh. So this is my basement. It's where I keep my ladder. <laughs> but fun fact, guys, if you go through this wall right here, there's a secret entrance to my kitchen. Whoa! Wow. So today we're gonna be trying some of the most viral TikTok life hacks and crafts that I could find on the internet. So buckle up, get yourself some popcorn because it's gonna be a good one. Let's go check out the first hack. So here's a fun craft that you can do with some fake turf. Just go to your local hardware store, pick up a patch, and then cut it to the size of your floor mats. Add your cup holders while you're at it to your back seats, your front seats. This is definitely a mood, I guess. If it's on the internet, it looks like I have to do it. Oh yes, I'm just gonna need these guys. A boo -boo -boo. Oh, oh, wait, I need to grab myself some grass. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. Smack our knees down. Go ahead and make our outline. Oh. Not bad. Now let's cut these bad boys out. Oh, there we go. One down. 
I think I gotta fluff them up a little bit because they're very flat. I'm just gonna oh God. fluff it up. Real good, real good. What if I rub them against each other? You know, it didn't work super great. I think I'm just gonna have better luck doing this. Let's go put these bad boys in my truck. Okay, let's see if they fit. That's definitely a vibe, I guess. Put on the passenger side one. Yeah, custom floor mats. And we even got the matching cup holders. That is absolutely fantastic. Well guys, for 45 bucks you get custom grass floor mats and cup holders. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. What a vibe. Here's how to make a DIY smart house. All you're gonna need is a charging block and a wireless mouse. Plug that bad boy in and boom, everything is now smart homed. Your TV, your garage door, smart homified. Oh man, I would have saved so much money on light bulbs if I knew this. Okay, so we just take the receiver from this guy and we put the lime in the coconut. That looks pretty good. Now, just plug this into my house. Oh yes. Just like that. Take our mouse. Now, theoretically, it's not working! Maybe if I try putting it in this projector. Oh, there we go. Let's see, does that do anything? Yeah, it's not working. Okay, here we go. Maybe this outlet will work. What? What the heck? It's not working! Why is it not working? Why is the light flickering? Intern, is that you? No, dude, I'm holding the camera. Wait, if I'm not flickering the lights, and you're not flickering the lights, then who's flickering the lights? <laughs> no, it's for Rock 2. Do you have a nice ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola, but you couldn't finish the entire thing? Cut off the top of the bottle and then use a heat gun to shrink wrap it around your Coke can. Boom, you have yourself a sealed soda can now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a nice cold Bev. We got ourselves some flaming Hot Cheetos, Mountain Dew. Have you guys ever tried this before? Let me know down in the comments down below. Ooh. It's okay. It tastes like they got Cheeto dust and they just sprinkled it in Mountain Dew. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drink all this right now, so let's try this little life hack. We just grab a bottle, cut this bad boy off, snip, snip, and then just shove it right on there. This is a little iffy already. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna try cutting it down ever so slightly. Then we go ahead and get our heat gun and just heat this bad boy up. I hope this doesn't ruin my soda. How we doing? This is looking good. Okay, she's melting. It's perfectly sealing my soda. Look at that, it's like shrink wrapped to my soda can. And now we have ourselves a brand new cool hit bottle. But will it leak? We're about to find out, you ready? Oh, not bad. It's a little leaky. It's a little bit. All things considered, I mean. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I spilled it. It smells like a hot Cheeto. It's making me cough. Maybe just heat it up a little bit more. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save this craft. <gasps> oh, it's still a little leaky. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one only kind of works. Down in the comments down below, tell me what your favorite soda is. Oh yes, I'm finally gonna live the childhood dream to make a slide down my stairs. Out of cardboard nonetheless. I am so stoked for this one. If people on TikTok could do it without getting hurt, I'm sure I could do it, right? I'm an adult, I can do what I want. Look it, look how fun that is. I'm really doing it. I'm building a slide in my house. I mean, I guess I've already had a slide in my house before in uh, my escape room. If you guys wanna see that video, you can click over here. But stay on this video for now, uh, watch that one later. Later. Okay guys, it's time for me to live out my childhood dream and build myself a stair slide. We got our cardboard, we got our tape, and now I just need some help to make this dream come alive. Oh boys! Hello? Yeah. Uh, can you guys help me construct a cardboard slide down these stairs? Yeah, one second, we're waiting on Trevor. We even got Benj! Hey Benj, you Benj here to help. Hey. Let's make a cardboard slide! Yeah. The first step to building the slide 
It's just taping all the boxes together, I guess. I think we're gonna have the most luck if we intertwine them like this. Oh, yes. See that? They're intertwined now. Look at that. They're together. No tape even. Just rattle it around. We're we don't even need tape. I think we should still use tape. Yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna be the rotating team. You got it? So, uh, lift up and we're gonna rotate and spin. I can't wait to do this when we're 10 boxes in. This is looking pretty good. Hi, what do you think, Trev? I think it's all right. Okay, one down, uh, 10 more to go. This is how it's turning out so far. Intern's working on the inside flaps. He's a flappy boy. Oh, uh, what are you doing, Trevor? Working on the outside flaps. Damn, bro. So we managed to get it all the way to the bottom of the stairs. Now we're just gonna add some padding. That's absolutely perfect. Now we're just securing it to the wall and then it's time to ride down the slide. Okay, guys, let's do this. I'm now approaching the stairs. Oh God. Are you ready for me? Ready. I'm coming down. I'm ready to go. Benj, you get everything if I die. I'll see you guys later. Oh, oh, okay. I'm coming out. I'm alive! Oh, but the slide uh, kind of broke a little bit. But overall, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Do one of you boys want to try it next? Yeah, I'll try it. Okay. I'm done. Just gonna repair the slide, and then it's the intern's turn. Okay, Mikey, it's all up to you. It's all up to me, let's go. Okay, it's Mikey's turn. <laughs> this one just went straight. I think I broke my spleen. Oh, man. Ben, just making sure you're okay. Thanks, Ben. Emotional support dog. Thank you, Ben. My spleen will be better. Okay, hidden camera guy, you're up. I'll do my best to put this back together really quick. Are you excited? Yes. Camera guy? Yeah. <laughs> we ran out of tape, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. It's all good, guys. Come on down. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't. I don't hurt. Okay, Bench. Do you want to go too? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Is he okay, Bench? How was it? The GoPro hurt my face more than anything. That's what I'm saying. It hurts. It just bounces down. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really. It was fun. It was, you know, it was like a little free massage on the way down. I was like, oh, no, no, no. I think this should be a permanent fixture in my house. Robbie, you should do this with actual slides. Oh. Guys, if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, I'm gonna put a real slide in my house. Do it for the bench. He needs a slide. You guys wanna see some crazy witchcraft? Stick a toothpick into a watermelon and flick it. What? There's no way this could work. There's no way. Okay, guys, first things first, we're gonna need a watermelon. Then we're gonna need some toothpicks. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. We're only gonna need one, really. Um, so we're gonna take this and we put it into the belly button right here, right? I feel like I have to look for a sweet spot, but you know, if it works, it works. Okay, so I put it in there. Now I just flick it. Ow! Ow! Maybe I can just smack it with my phone. I'll do another sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't think this is actually gonna work. Ow, I just flicked a toothpick. Maybe this hammer will work? Oh, oh. Guys, I think I'm finding the sweet spot. Oh. It opened up! Is it cracked? No, not quite. I also missed the belly button. Maybe I have to hit it on the belly button. Just tap it, tap it. Cut everywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Trevor. I, got, I just hit the kitten camera guy. Guys, look! There's a crack right here. I think I got it from here. Open up! Guys! I think it worked. The trick was you didn't have to use your finger to flick it, you needed a hammer. But Overall, guys, I'm gonna have to say that the toothpick method didn't work. Hammer method absolutely works. Come on, everyone, let's enjoy some refreshing watermelon. Fatality. Delicious. On to the next one. Did you know that you can basically throw your old sensor bar away? Because two candles do the exact same thing. The sensor bar only works because it releases infrared light, which your Wiimote picks up. And then you can use it as a sensor bar. What? Okay, let's see if this one actually works. Okay guys, I got my Wii up on my projector. I got my Wiimote. Go ahead and light these candles. Okay, so here's my Wiimote. It's time to see. 
Maybe I have to move the candles a little closer. It would make sense. Here we go. It's not working. I'm gonna try plugging in the actual sensor bar. It's kind of funky because my Wii's back here. I was actually really hoping I could just light some candles and play Wii. This would have solved my problems, honestly. But now I gotta play like this. Okay, so the sensor bar is working. I just have to face the wrong way as I do it. Honestly, this is pretty cool. Should I start a gaming channel like this? I don't even need to edit it. No camera and camera. Uh, I just, you know, sit here and you guys, I should have another monitor here. It would be great. But it's not looking like these candles are actually doing it. Do you think it's because it's a projector? No, Robbie, I think you have to put the candles back there next to the Wii. What? Because it's not even working right here. You have to put the candles where you put the sensor. So I'm gonna like put it right here next to the Wii, as you said. But I don't think that, that's not how it works. Oh! Right, it's kind of working. <gasps> Wait! I think I figured it out. You have to put the Wii. The sen they're too far apart to be a sensor bar. Sensor bars aren't five feet apart. I think I just, ah, I got hot wax on me. I think I just figured it out. We're gonna grab the sensor bar. We're put, gonna put it the same distance away. It's not working. <laughs> Robbie, you need to put the Wii next to the candles in front of you. What? Oh, sh yeah? I have to do what? Sorry? I didn't hear I you. Take it back. What'd you say? I take it back. What was that, intern? I'm sorry, Robbie. Who's the Craft King, intern? You're the Craft King. I'm sorry. I still have question you. <laughs> well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Don't question the hey, Craft King. Be my homebrew channel. Hey, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. Can you not pour out of a mason jar? So here's what you're gonna need. An empty milk carton, some scissors, and mason jar lids. Open the milk carton, rinse out all the milk. We don't want some gross milk in that. Mmm, gross. And then we take the top, cut it out to the shape of the lid, and then you just screw it right onto the mason jar. Wow, look at that! A perfect pour every time! Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is some milk. Well, in particular, I just need this thing. So, I guess all the milk is going in here. This is perfectly good milk. I don't want to waste it. Putting it in a picture. Wait, I have an even better idea. What if I take a picture of the milk? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Well, I don't need this anymore. I got my picture. So, all we got to do is grab our jar and just, you know, make sure it fits. Just go ahead and draw the outline. I think I'm going to cut this apart a little bit first. Oh, there's still milk in there! I messed up. Oh yes, just dissect this a little bit. And then we grab the top, go ahead and draw an outline. Go ahead and cut this bad boy out. Okay guys, are you ready for the moment of truth? Go ahead and put it inside of our top. I actually do need this milk. This whole thing was a lie. I just need a nice tall glass of almond milk right now. I mean, this is actually really short. Um, put this bad boy on. Are you guys ready to find out to see if this works? Three, two, one! <gasps> what? It's not leaking! Guys, I can't believe this works! And I have a pitcher of milk! And a pitcher of milk! Well, time to have my cake and drink it too, I guess. <laughs> Almond milk is actually pretty good. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this life hack absolutely works. This is how I want my milk given to me from now on. Excuse me. Guys, have you heard of this Amazon return trick? Apparently, inside the bag, if you take it apart carefully, there's an adhesive strip on one side. So you can basically flip the bag inside out so there's no labels on it. Just take your adhesive strip and just stick it right back onto the bag. And you're all ready to return it. Okay guys, so this Toby actually has a defective eye. What? Yeah, look at your eye, it's all messed up. What do you mean? So I'm gonna have to actually return him. So instead of using some brand new plastic bag, I'm gonna try this hack. You're returning me? Yeah, sorry about that, Toby, just sit over here. What we're gonna have to do is flip this bad boy inside out, grab our Toby. Are you about to put me in a bag? Uh, no. Toby, calm down! Calm down! Ready! Ugh. Okay, then we just take this strip. And then we flip it. Oh god, here we go! And then we flip it onto the bag. And look! It's all good! I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works! <laughs> Oh. 
On to the next hack. Oh, Robbie, let me out now. Am I the only one who knew this? So apparently you can just flick the little tab for your lighter up and it'll make it so that it'll stay lit. Is it lit or is it shit? Let's find out. Okay guys, so apparently this thing kind of comes up a little bit and then you just do this and it should stay lit. It doesn't seem to be staying lit. Guys, I think this is a cap. I think I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Guys, do you not have a wood burner? Well, you don't need one. Just get a magnifying glass and the sun, and boom, just burn that wood yourself. Beautiful pieces of art. That's amazing, this girl did a great job. How am I gonna top this? Let's see what creative design I can come up with. Oh yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna need for this is a magnifying glass. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Now I'm gonna need a little piece of wood. Oh yes, one of these should do nicely. Let's burn some wood. So, oh, that's already working. Look at that. I know exactly what I wanna write on here. I actually really like this. I used to do this all the time as a child. What a fun time. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? It's perfect wall art. I'm gonna go hang this up on my wall. Just add a little bit of wire and now it's a beautiful little piece of wall decor. Look at that, so rustic. Perfect. I'm gonna have to say this one works. So here's how you make yourself a little confetti cannon. All you're gonna need is a balloon, a paper towel roll, and some tape. Cut your balloon just like this, put it over the paper towel roll, tape all that bad boy together, maybe color it up a little bit, cut up a bunch of post-it notes so that you have confetti, and boom, a confetti cannon! How cool is that? Okay guys, first thing we're gonna need is a paper towel roll. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut it down. You're technically supposed to use a toilet paper roll, but all I had was paper towel roll. Let me go ahead and grab ourselves a balloon. Cut this bad boy down. Put it on this guy, just like this. Boom, bam. So far, so good. Now we just grab some confetti. I have this Easter egg filler stuff, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down a little bit just to be more confetti-like. This is old. I can see dust coming off of it. Oh my gosh. Isn't it so pretty, guys, with the pink background? Aren't you so glad that I <laughs> decided to just randomly paint my background pink? Just go ahead and grab all this and just shove it right in there. Okay, we're gonna try this. Nope. Oh no. I think it might be getting stuck. I need to cut finer. Okay, we grab some fine confetti. Oh yes, this is some fine confetti. Look how fine that is. Now let's try this bad boy out. Oh yes, ready to see if this confetti cannon actually works? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna test it on you guys. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, we got some. It kind of worked. Let's try it again. celebrate. Anyway, I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works for the most part. I'm sure I could have done it way better. <gasps> Guys, let me know down in the comments if you want me to make a giant one out of a giant balloon and a giant tube. That would be a giant confetti cannon! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh my god. Guys, we should totally do that. Maybe I should just do it right now. We could just make a giant confetti cannon. We don't even have the supplies. It's not in the budget. It's not even in the budget. Anyway. I think it's a great idea, and this one kind of works, so. Absolutely. On to the next one. Guys, check out this crazy TikTok challenge. So this girl decided to put a bunch of Pringles into a circle like this, and now she just keeps stacking them. Oh my God, she completed the circle! Look how perfect that is! I absolutely have to try this. Okay guys, we only need one thing for this, and that is some good old Pringles. Guys, which Pringles guy are you used to? This is a new one, right? He didn't always look like this. He's different now. A different man. What's your guys' favorite Pringles? So it looked like they just stacked them just like this. They just got a bunch of them. They just went boobity boop. Just kept stacking them. Oh wow. So far, so good. I think this is gonna take a while. Boobity boop, 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 boop. I'm just being real careful not to knock everything down. You just gotta keep extending it one chip at a time. I'm gonna need so many chips for this. It's a good thing I got three cans. Just keep stacking, stacking, stacking. I'm stacking some Pringles. Whoa, I'm stacking some Pringles. I feel like I'm really getting there. Just keep going. There's a lot of broken ones in this pack. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna need more chips. Let's break out the pizza flavored ones. It's just gonna start changing colors as we go up. Oh boy, perfect little chips. 
I'm gonna try again. I messed up and I'm gonna try it again. Do I have to start from square one? Please tell me I don't have to. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna start over. I completely messed up. Oh my God. Can't believe I have to restart. I messed up. Guys, we got more of a crescent. Getting closer, I can tell. Got it on the second go round. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Ooh, we're getting closer. Structural integrity of chips. I've never had so much trust in them. Come on. I'm scared to keep building up. Oh my gosh, I'm almost there guys. I can taste it. And I'm not just talking about how I taste these Pringles because every time I mess up, I eat them. Guys, if I mess this up, I'm probably gonna cry. I'm almost there guys. Oh, it's so close. Uh, <gasps> do I dare add more? I think I do. Ever so slightly more. <sighs> Look at that. Look, this is gonna be the freaking thumbnail. Look at that. Guys, we freaking did it! This one absolutely works! Now it's time to knock them over. Oh, what? What? That was a little sad, but time to eat all these chips, I guess. So this guy's about to show us a crazy phone life hack. Here's an extremely powerful Samsung Galaxy feature that shouldn't exist on a cell phone. It literally feels Whoa. like magic. Let's say you took a nice picture on a vacation and a random person appeared in the picture and ruined it for you. And your Galaxy- Oh man, I hate it when random people appear in my photos. Tap the pencil icon, then tap the three dots, and choose Object Eraser. Tap on a person to select it. Then on the right side, tap on Erase. And look what happens. Whoa! Look at it again. Hmm, it got rid of them! One That's gun, crazy. Well, it's a good thing I got myself a Samsung Galaxy. Uh, let's go try it. Okay, guys, so for this one, I'm gonna use this photo that I took of me and Luna Ghostus when we were out go-karting. This is my brand new go-kart, but you know, I just want it to be me and my go-kart. So I'm sorry, Luna Ghostus. I'm gonna go ahead and edit you out. I guess we press this more tools down here. Object eraser. Dude, how did I not know about this? This is so cool. Tap on her, erase. Oh my God! Luna Ghostus disappeared. She's invisible! Guys, this one absolutely works. Luna Ghostus is now a ghost. <laughs> I love that. It's a little rough, but you know, for a phone, it's pretty good. Anyway, on to the next one. Here's how to make a fun and rustic looking piece of art. First you get your design, start hammering in all the nails where the lines are. Then once you're done with that, you go ahead and rip it all off. Then you just kind of intertwine all the strings. Honestly, this looks very time consuming. Not hard, just very time consuming. But the payoff, ho! Oh, I bet the payoff is gonna be so worth it. Look how cool this looks. Look at that, look how freaking neat. I want one of those, I'm gonna go make those. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need a piece of wood and I'm gonna need something to make the outline of. They used a cactus, which I thought was really cute, but I think for my workshop, a hammer would be even better. Look at that, isn't that so cool? So, we are just gonna go ahead and get a piece of paper, hold that guy under there, put our hammer on there, and then make our outline. Oh yes! Turned out pretty good. I can always shift it around on the paper as well. In the meantime, I'm gonna thumbtack the paper into place. Next, we grab some nails and start hammering these bad boys in. And now I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers to hold the nail in place as I hammer it. This will also keep all the nails uniform. Well, it's time to nail all these bad boys. Okay, this is looking pretty good. We got all of our nails in there. Now I'm gonna carefully remove all the paper. And by carefully, I mean just rip it off. These nails are pretty tough. You know what they say, tough as nails. Okay, it is all cleared off. So now I have to painstakingly take some string and just start weaving it in between the nails. You just start off by tying it to one, snip off that little extra bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna go and zigzag. Oh boy, this is gonna take a little while. I'm just gonna fill up this whole handle with black. Okay, and I have the black handle done. I just have to go and finish it off by tying it. And there we go. Oh yes, we have the handle handle, and now we have to do the head. I was originally thinking of maybe using some wire, but I think having like a red hammer or a pink hammer would be really cool. I'm just gonna do this a mixture of pinks and blues. Probably mostly pinks, honestly, just to help contrast it. Okay guys, so this actually turned out really cool. Look at that. How 
neat is that? It's like an exact replica. I mean, this one's pink. I really like that a lot. This turned out sick. But I have some room up here, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put craft up here. Do it as close to my type font on my tattoo as I can. I feel like that's really messy. I kinda wanna redo it. Okay, after a couple of tries, I think this is the closest I'm gonna get it. Ugh, now to fill this whole thing in. Okay, there we go, rip all this off. Now I have to outline all this. Maybe I should have taken a photo of this because this is getting a little confusing actually. Now I just have to go in with some string and outline it. And this is how it turned out. Look how stinking cute that is. Craft, I'm gonna hang this up in my house. I like this too much. Guys, should I make another one? What should I make? I could make so many things. I think I found myself a new hobby. Would you guys buy something like this? I would buy something like this. This is cool. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. 100% Robbie approved, I love this. And it's an exact replica of the hammer that I use. I've been using this hammer forever. Very nice. Hey guys, here's a fun and easy way to cheat on your tests. All you need is an eraser. Go ahead and get a little pocket knife and start cutting it like this. Then you take some glue, then write all your answers on the piece of paper. Just glue the piece of paper inside the eraser. And boom, you got yourself all your answers. I mean, not all the answers. What's the meaning to life? <laughs> okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need Oh yes, a classic eraser. Then we go ahead and grab an X-Acto knife set and just carefully cut this guy down. Oh yes, a nice little slit. Oh, hello! Go ahead and carefully make the incision, cut it all the way down. It's a little rough, but I think it'll do. And now it's time for our secret message. I'm just gonna go ahead and outline this guy. Here we go. Oh yes, just go ahead and glue that on there. This isn't even glue. I pranked myself from an old video. I'm gonna go get some other glue. Okay, we're gonna try this again. That just wasn't working. I don't know what was up with that. Just go ahead and stick it right on there and fold it in. Boopity boop. Some more glue. Ha ha! It opens and closes. Okay guys, now the only thing to do is to write my secret message. My secret's safe in here. Well guys, this looks like an extremely inconspicuous eraser. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. My secret is safe inside. Now only I know that I love men. Well, except for all you guys, I guess, uh, hey, get out of here. This is my secret. Go watch another craft or something. Here's how not to tie a balloon. Oh, he dropped it. What a klutz. What you wanna do is grab yourself a hanger, put the hanger between your legs, wrap the balloon around the hanger just like this, and then pull up the balloon and you have yourself a perfectly tied balloon. I'm like a master at tying balloons. Let's see how well this one works. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need for this one is a coat hanger and a balloon. Let's go ahead and blow this bad boy up. <laughs> Oh yes, a fully blown up balloon, but I don't know how to tie it. Just kidding, I'm actually really good at blowing up balloons. If you guys wanna see a video where I put $10,000 in a bunch of balloons, uh, click right here. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our coat hanger, put it between our legs like this, and then I guess we just use this to help us tie it. Do you see that? Oh, wow. I mean, I'm gonna have to say that it works. It made it a little easier, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Wanna know how to cleanly get the rest of your candle out of your jar? Well, the only thing you really gotta do is put that thing in the freezer for a couple hours. Give it a nice little tap, and there you go, completely clean candle jar. Oh yes, this is an easy one. Oh yeah, it's just gonna take this and put it right next to my good pal, Johnny Gilbert. Uh, you make sure to keep this thing company, okay, buddy? The next day. Okay, let's see how our candle's doing. Johnny Gilbert, thank you so much for taking care of my candle for me. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see if this actually comes out. <gasps> it came right out. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. That's handy. Now we have this clean jar. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe like make another candle. Anyway, yep, this one works. Hey guys, here's how to make a quick release knot. Wow, that's like magic. So what you're gonna wanna do is tie a knot like this at the end of your rope, put it through the object, I guess, make a couple of loop-de-loops, then you put that loop-de-loop -loop through that loop-de-loop, -loop, and then you put that loop-de-loop -loop through that loop-de-loop. -loop. This is getting very confusing. <laughs> and then you should have a bunch of loop-de-loops like this, you release the loop-de-loop, -loop, and then boom! All the other loop-de-loops -loops come with it. Well, this one's gonna be interesting. Here we go, I guess. Oh. 
Okay guys, so I've actually been tying knots since I was a little kid and I think I could do this one with my eyes closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this one blindfolded. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we got this guy here. This is a good old fashioned toolbox. And then we go ahead and tie one of these bad boys. And then if memory serves me right, I think we loop it over like this, string it through the handle, put this through this thing, then you tie another knot right here, and then you take this, you stick the lime in the coconut. Coconut is in there. Okay, you guys ready for the moment of truth? So we're gonna release it down. Very good. I'll pick it back up just to be safe. Oh, it's still secure. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the rope. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. But let's put a little bit more risk into this. We're gonna put it down the lift. Going down, oh yes. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and drop it. Woo! It works! Here's how to eat pineapple without having to skin it. Ooh, you get little bite-sized pieces. First thing you gotta do is twist off the stem. Then you hit the bottom a couple times. I guess you just keep tapping. Then you roll it sideways. Rolling, 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 rolling. Then all you gotta do is grab the stem, pull, and twist. There you go, you got yourself a bite-sized snack. Mmm, pineapple snack. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a pineapple. There we go. Now we just go ahead and twist this bad boy off. Oh wow, that was super easy. Now, apparently we just tap it on the table. It was already kind of tapped. Uh, it fell from the sky. Thanks, Sky Pineapple. Then we go ahead and roll it. Oh yes, rolling, 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 rolling. Just keep rolling. Okay, there is a lot of juice on the table now. Let's see if I can actually get one of these spikes out. Okay, I'll grab this boy. No luck on that one. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna grab, we're gonna twist. <gasps> I got some. Mm. It's so sweet. Okay, I'll try another one. And... Oh, we got a little bit more on that one. Ah, oh, I'm getting pineapple juice all over me. Ah, uh, oh, I got pineapple juice in my eye. You know what? Okay. Oh, guys, it does come apart. Look at that. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Guys, this is a good pineapple. Look at that. We got a perfect piece right there. Maybe I was just making them a little too small, you know? On to the next one. This one's gonna show us how to make glasses out of knives. First, you're gonna need some plastic knives. Heat up your stove, bend them a little bit. Oh, melt them together, and boom, you got yourself some fancy glasses. Okay guys, so for this one, we're gonna need a couple of plastic butter knives. And also maybe a blowtorch. We just need heat, really. So we just skim our blowtorch over the plastic knife, and we're gonna carefully bend it. Oh, it bends. It's bending like butter. Does butter even bend? I don't think it bends. Perfect. Now we just go and do the other one. Whoa, it turns the plastic into like a gold color. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold these in place as they cool. Few moments later. Okay, so for this next part, you're technically supposed to do it on the stove, but we have our blowtorch. Oh yeah, so melt the tips just a little bit, melt them together. Hopefully that works. Now I just gotta hold these bad boys while they cool down. Two very boring minutes later. It's looking a little bit melted, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna retry this. Ooh! Well, you know what they say. It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself! Ah! They're looking good. Let's try these bad boys on. Okay, guys, we're trying this again. Maybe with a little clamp to help hold it together a little better until this uh, cools completely down. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Let's see how well they uh, stuck together. Oh! That's looking pretty good. Let's try these bad boys on. Oh yes, some knife glasses. I can already tell my vision is gonna be so much better from these. Please ignore the uh, paper napkin that is on this. I used it to help clamp it down the first time and it sort of melts into the plastic. Anyway. Oh wow. Yeah, I can't see anything. I should have gotten clear ones. They do kind of stay on and look how hip I look. Damn, look how awesome. This is gonna be my new everyday look, guys. Maybe if I can get them to stay on my face, actually. Oh, it bends it. 
My bad. I meant to bend it ever so slightly more in. Anyway, before I broke it, it perfectly worked. So I'm gonna have to say this one works. I don't know how much better the clear ones would be, but you sure do look cool, don't you? Anyway, on to the next one. Here's how to make some fun Snapchat art. All you gotta do is take a photo of nothing, spin your phone on the table like this. Wow, it's so spinny, it's so spirally. Whoa, I like that one a lot. Okay, this looks like it'll keep me entertained for about three minutes. Let's try it. Okay, so we got our phone, and I even put a pop socket on this one just for the occasion. Thank you so much, Rod Kim. What a guy. Rod is actually the guy who did the uh, Craft a Ween theme song. Scary makeup, baby, blood. And also the Let's Do This theme song. Super cool guy. We might be making a Toby album pretty soon. Let me know if you guys want that down in the comments down below. Anyway, we have our pop socket. Does she spin? Oh, she do be spinning. We're just gonna go to Instagram. They use Snapchat. I'm just gonna use Instagram. Same thing. Cover our lens. Take a really dark photo. Some effects. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and draw, and we just maybe do a little bit of blue. Oh yes. Okay guys, and it's spinning time. Did something go wrong? Yes, something did go wrong. Did something go wrong? Report a problem. Maybe this is why you have to do it on Snapchat. Oh, leave me alone! They keep detecting that I'm like angry at my phone when I shake it. Is there a way to turn that off? There's no problems here, sir. This is a little rough, but I'm gonna have to say that it works. So here is how to break into a car using a tennis ball. All you gotta do is make a little hole like this, put it onto the keyhole, give it a good squeeze, and then boom, it unlocked the car. After watching this, I really wanna know why tennis balls aren't illegal. Okay, step one, drill a hole in a tennis ball. We got a red dot right there, so I'm just gonna put it right where the red dot is. Oh yes, that ought to do. Now let's go to our car. Okay guys, so here's my car, and as you can see, it is locked. Let's see if we can unlock it using this tennis ball. So just go ahead and put that hole right there, and then you squeeze it. Let's see if it worked. One, two, one. Okay. It didn't unlock! Huh. I'll squeeze it like they did. One, two, and. Well guys, a regular tennis ball didn't work, so we're gonna try it with a Toby. What? <laughs> okay, Toby, I just need you to breathe into the hole. What? Uh, just breathe into the hole when I punch you. Wait, you're gonna punch me? Yes. What? <laughs> well, that didn't work. Um, I mean, did it? We're about to find out. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Bench, what are you doing with Toby? He's delicate, Bench. You can't be doing this kind of stuff with him. Gosh, Bench has to learn to respect Toby. Here's a fun life hack, guys. If you have a tape measure, apparently the rubber part erases pencil marks. What? How did I not know about this? Look at that, it's pretty much gone. Okay, guys, so for this one, we're gonna need a tape measure. Oh, yes, this tape measure has been in my family for generation. Let's go ahead and write something really quick. I love dogs. Oh no, I can't have people knowing that I love dogs. Well, it's time to try and erase this. Oh, is it erasing? Woo, guys, it actually sort of erased. Yeah, now it just looks like a normal piece of paper. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Hey guys, you see this peanut butter? That's old peanut butter, you don't want that anymore. So what you're gonna wanna do is close that bad boy up and just start spinning it. Just keep spinning, and then when you go to open it up, you have a jar of brand new peanut butter. Infinite peanut butter life hack. Okay guys, so here is our peanut butter, and as you can see, it looks very, um, plain? I don't know, it looks like used peanut butter. Let's see if we can make it all swirly. This is also, uh, honey creamy peanut butter, so it should be a little bit more malleable. Okay, spin, spin, spin. Spin, 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 oh god. Spin, it's very off center. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning, spinning. I don't know how many times I'm supposed to do this. I'm probably at easily 60 spins now. Okay, let's see how it turned out. I mean, it still looks like regular peanut butter. Maybe I gotta smack some of the peanut butter down. I think I had too little in there. Oh, 
Whoa, a brand new jar of peanut butter. That's beautiful. That is some beautiful peanut butter. I mean, you have to kind of tap it so that all the peanut butter goes to the top, but I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works. Good way to prank your friends. Maybe put something in there. I don't know. Anyway, on to the next one. So apparently this is how you make a flame go underwater. All you gotta do is get a cup and start filling it up with wax. Then once you got a good amount in there, you add a candlestick just like this, fill that cup up with some water, and then you light the candle. Apparently it'll go all the way down the candlestick. That's pretty cool, but how far will it really go? Oh my god, guys, my door's open! Oh wait, just kidding. It's a jar. <laughs> then we get a candle, and then we're gonna have to burn some wax into the bottom of the candle. Just burn that on down. You know what? This is taking way too long. Where the heck is the bigger blowtorch, guys? Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Oh yes! And that is how you melt some wax. I think that'll do it. I'm gonna need a different candlestick, though. Let's go ahead and take this and stick it right in there. Oh, maybe I'm gonna melt the bottom of this actually so that it also sticks. Just don't overdo it, Robbie. Don't overdo it, Robbie. Look, that's what I do best. I overdo it. There we go. I'm gonna let this solidify a little bit and then we're gonna light it. Okay, guys, the candle is solidified inside of there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. Light this bad boy up. So now all we gotta do is wait. Okay guys, so it was only about 20 minutes before this guy went out. We're just gonna pour some water out and uh, we're gonna try this again. There we go. Better luck this time. I believe in you. Okay guys, this guy ended up burning two times. I don't know what we did wrong, but uh, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Which really sucks, because I was actually really looking forward to this one. If I did something wrong, let me know. On to the next one. Hey guys, have you ever wanted to pick up an egg yolk? No, I have an easy solution. All you gotta do is rub up on a piece of garlic, and boom! You can pick up that egg yolk, no problem. Easy way to separate the yolks from the whites, right? The age old question, guys. Can you really grab an egg yolk after touching some garlic? We're gonna find out. So I don't actually have any uh, whole garlic, but I do have some of this minced garlic. Oh gosh, that smells so strong. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab some of that right on my fingers. Oh, my fingers are smelling like garlic. Yeah. Yummy! Uh, you guys ready to find out to see if this works? Oh, I still have garlic on my fingers. Oh, dang. Okay, maybe a little bit more. <gasps> oh, I broke! No! Well guys, um, the minced garlic didn't work. Mm. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try some garlic powder instead. Just sprinkle some of that right on my fingers. <laughs> Ugh, that's so smelly. Okay, you guys ready to see this? It's still very slippery. Very slippery. <gasps> oh, it broke! Ah! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. At least not with garlic powder and minced garlic anyway. If you guys want to see if it works with regular garlic, I'm sure there's another video you guys can watch. Um, just keep watching these life hacks. I'm sure I'll do it in the future sometime. Hey guys, want to learn how to make soap out of aloe vera? Well, this guy's about to show us. First, I guess you need an aloe vera plant. Pluck some of those aloe vera. You get the aloe vera latex. Get it nice and wet. Soak it for a little bit. And then once you got it nice and soaked, you cut the edges. Remove the skin. That's pretty metal, dude. <laughs> Scoop out the gel. Oh, look how slimy that is. Mm. Then you blend all that up. Get yourself some dish soap base. Cut all that up, melt it. You add your gel. You can add some lavender, I guess that's optional. And then you add some e-oil, uh, vape juice, I guess. I don't know. Put it all in a silicone mold. Let it cool down overnight. And boom, you got yourself some fresh soap. Oh, that looks refreshing. But how refreshing could it really be? Oh yes, what big knife should I use today? Uh, ooh, this one hasn't gotten some love in a while. Okay, let's get some aloe vera. Oh, yes. That ought to do it. Okay, now we have to skin this bad boy. Just cut the edges. Whew. This aloe smells so weird. Oh, yes. Then we just peel the skin. Oh, boy. This is way hard to do with a knife. Ooh, just comes right off. Okay, now we're gonna get all the aloe gel out. Okay, I think that's about as much as I'm gonna be able to get out of that. I'm only gonna make like a single little brick of soap, I guess. Then we get our stove, grab a pot, add some water. And now that our water is boiling, we put another pot on it. 
You're really supposed to use a bowl, but I didn't have a metal bowl, so this is what I'm using. Then we go and grab some soap, cut it up real good. I feel like I was supposed to do this on the cutting board, but the cutting board is underneath my uh, little stove, so I kind of messed up. Just shaving some soap. Oh wow, that, this is actually very satisfying. I would watch a whole video of me doing this. Would you guys? Let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, the soap is melting. I've never done it like this, admittedly, but this seems like it's working way better than it did in the past when I just put it on raw pot, you know? I definitely think that barrier of water is making it so that the soap doesn't burn. I love that for this soap. Oh, oh it's really melt the soap. Oh yes, nothing better to mix your soap than a plastic spoon. <laughs> I'm sure this won't melt the spoon at all. I forgot to blend the aloe part. So I'm just gonna put it in this bowl and try and like, it's not really doing anything. I have an idea. I'm gonna get a plastic bag, put it down in there, and then we're gonna beat the f out of it. Oh. Oh. I broke the bag. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more aloe after this, but overall, I'm gonna have to say that this process didn't really work, actually. It's still kind of together. Oh, I tried my best. Let's go back to the stove. Oh yes, yeah, so now we just have to add our ingredients. A little bit of our aloe. And we add a little bit of this vitamin E. Mmm, mix, mix, mix. Maybe add a little bit of food dye. I'm thinking bright green food dye, you know? Just make your hands nice and green when after you use it, it'll be great. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Okay, now that we are done with our stove, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. Go ahead and grab some molds and just put the soap right inside of our mold. Oh yeah, I forgot I only have enough for one. That's some good old fashioned soap. And just how your grandma made it, this is the exact same way that she made soap. I'd assume, probably. Anyway, I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then we're gonna see how it turned out. The next day. Okay guys, it's the next day and our soap is nice and hard. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it out of the mold. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look! It's a perfect little flower. This turned out really cute, actually. How does it smell? It definitely smells way better than the aloe vera did. I don't know what was up with that aloe vera. It smelled really bad. But let's see how good of soap it is. It seems to be working nice. It's extremely soothing in my hands. My hands do feel quite cleaner. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. <laughs> Okay guys, so this girl's about to show us how to make a DIY lock out of a fork. So I'm gonna make my own damn lock with a fork and I'm gonna show y'all how. You're just gonna wanna bend like three fourths of an inch at the top. You're gonna wanna break the fork in half. Go ahead and break that fork. So you're gonna put this part right in there. Once it's stuck, ew, why my door so crusty? Ignore then you're ew. gonna take the other part of the fork. What is on your door? Through. If you try to open the door, it's locked. No one can get in. Well, let's see if this actually works. So the first thing we need is a fork. I meant to have that stick to the table. It didn't work super great. First thing I'm gonna do is grab some pliers. Then we're just gonna go ahead and bend all the tips on this bad boy. Ah, yes! Oh, I bent them kind of crooked. I wonder if I get a second chance if I bend it back. I feel like they're just gonna break. Yeah, they just all broke. I messed up. I need another fork. Or, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's kind of giving me a little butt scratcher vibe. Oh yes, that's nice. Thank you, thank you so much. Anyway, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and bend it straight in half. Aren't I so strong? Then we take the handle and apparently, it just fits right in there. Now let's go test it out on our door. Okay, let's test this bad boy out. Forky guy gets in there. Boop, and then we take our extra bit right in there. There you go. Um, I'm gonna try pulling it. I'm gonna do the deadbolt actually. Oh, that's way better. Okay, looking good. Let's try it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't actually work. Wanna know how to make a little tiny pizza box for your leftovers? All you're gonna need is your old box, cut it like this, and then it has some perforated edges, and then you can just fold it, I guess. Wow, what a cute little box. Apparently any pizza box can do this, so let's see if that's true. Okay guys, we just had ourselves some Papa Jads. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and Save some for later, because we only have that much left. That's like exactly half. So apparently you just rip the top of the box, and then there's supposed to be some sort of thing here, but there is no thing here. I feel kind of lied to you uh, about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip it there then. Haha. -ha. 
They can just fold it in half. Boom! And does it stay? Ah, maybe... No. Let's go with a different pizza box. Let's see if this one has it. This one doesn't have it either! I feel very lied to. I guess you can do it with every pizza box, but um, they don't all have the little perforated edges. We're gonna try and cut this bad boy down. Ho ho! Oh, pizza box is still a little stiff, I guess. Maybe if we lightly cut the outside of this pizza box. Just almost stab yourself. There we go! And it works like a charm. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works. I love the idea of keeping it in the pizza box, but uh, it's always better to keep it in a plastic bag. It just keeps it so much more fresh. But I do like the pizza box, so I'm gonna keep it in the box for the aesthetic. There we go. Oh. Well, good enough. On to the next one. Did you know that nuts make great candles? So apparently nuts have oils in them that take a long time to burn. So they make the perfect candle. So if you ever don't have a candle, just grab some walnuts. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need are some nuts. It looked like one of the ones they used was a walnut, so I'm gonna do that. I got my little clamp here to hold it in place so I don't have to hold the fire. Now it's time to light this bad boy. Okay, you guys ready to see if it's gonna stay lit? Three, two, one! <gasps> guys, it's lit! But does it make a good candle? Let's turn some lights off. Oh yes, this nut is still going and it's fairly bright. This is like a, a candle, this is a candle light. Look at, you can see my face. Well guys, this absolutely works. <sighs> okay guys, let's try this roasted nut. It tastes strangely like barbecue. It's not bad. Except for the extremely burnt part. Here's how to factory tie your shoes. Whatever that means. So I guess you just wrap it around your thumb just like that and make some bunny ears. Just pull it through. This seems like a really easy one. I'll try it, I guess. Okay guys, so it's actually against my religion to put shoes on the table, but for this, I'll make an exception. Here we go. Apparently you just wrap it around your thumb and then shove it in there and then shove it into the hole. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this accomplishes. I tied a knot in my shoe and it looks brand new. I guess I'm gonna have to say this one works. I don't really get the point of this one. <laughs> Here's an easy way to make a Lazy Susan out of things from the dollar store. All you need is some marbles and a couple of pans that match. Boom, then it should just rotate like butter. Wait, butter doesn't rotate. <laughs> It'll be smooth like butter. <laughs> that makes more sense. Oh, okay, you guys, first thing we're gonna need are some pans. Preferably pans that fit inside of each other. And then we're gonna need some marbles. I got these marbles left over from that back massage hack that I did from that parenting video a while ago. If you guys wanna see that, you can click right over here. I keep my marbles in here for safekeeping. Oh, yes. Okay, now we're gonna put the pan inside the other pan. It seems to work. But how well does it work? Let's put our phone in here. We'll just spin this around. Here we go. This is what you guys look like uh, to the phone. We're just gonna leave that in there. You ready? I think we're a little low on marbles, but so far, this is absolutely working. And I'm gonna try this bad boy out with a little bit more weight. Well, let's hope I don't get hurt here. Let's put my foot in there. Oh God. It got a little mangled on the bottom, but it's fine. Woo, it's working! It kind of messed up the bottom of the pan a little bit, but overall, this thing holds a lot of weight. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Easily make a ninja star from one piece of printer paper. It's on the internet, it looks like I have to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is some paper. Oh yes, this should do. Well, don't need this anymore. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is fold this bad boy in half. Fold it just like that, fold it again. Then we fold it like this. I'm just watching this on repeat. There we go, we got another one. Okay, that looks about right, right? 
A boobity boop. And then I guess we fold these bad boys into triangles. Boobity boop. Boobity boop. Guys, I don't think this one works. I'm gonna skip it. How to make a bat paper airplane? Okay. You've piqued my interest. So we're gonna take a piece of paper, fold it hamburger, hot dog, hot dog, negative hot dog. Oh my gosh. Origami so hard. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's so much folding, so much folding. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, this better be worth it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna need is some paper. Oh yes, they just use some notebook paper, just like this. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is fold it hamburger, some good old hamburger. I kinda want a hamburger now. So you do hamburger, then hot dog, hot dog. Just imagine me holding two hot dogs right here, you know? And then they inverted their hamburger. I don't know why they did this at this point. So then you should have a Whataburger logo if you look at it like this. Then from here, you just go ahead and take one of the flaps, flappy up, flip it around, and you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So now you got wings. This is how it looks. It's like a chicken wing, you know? So now we're gonna flip this around. Then we fold this to be at a right angle right here. Same thing with the other side, I suppose. Now we have a strange looking bird. Then we go ahead and open this bad boy up. Then we fold this down so that the tip of the nose touches the bottom of the thing. Boop. Boop, you just fold these guys down just a little bit. There you go, now it's flat. See, it's a straight guy. So then you fold it up like this so that these lines match. Then we flip it over, fold it down. So then you go ahead and fold it like this. Fold it down, flip it over, fold it down. And our bat is complete. Well, let's go try it. It's time to see if this thing will actually fly like a bat. I mean, if bats flew straight into the ground, I would say that this one absolutely works! Woo! Good job! But bats don't fly into the ground, so I'm gonna have to say that this one actually doesn't work. So apparently, here's how to make the best paper airplane. Oh, that went really far. So you just take a piece of paper, fold it three quarters of the way hot dog, fold it again hot dog. Oh, this is so comp, oh my God. Oh, and then you just fold it into itself. Okay, easy peasy, not too hard. And then you get a super crazy airplane, which is not really an airplane, it's just a tube. Okay, let's go try it, I guess. Ah, oh, yes, yet another origami craft, my favorite. <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna do this origami craft um, and we're gonna like it and it's gonna be a great time. Let's grab ourselves a good old yellow piece of paper. Then we take our piece of paper, fold it three fourths in. Then that three fourths, we fold it one more time to match itself. Boop boop. And a third time's a charm. Guys, did you know you can only fold paper seven times? I don't believe that. I feel like I could fold piece of paper way more times. Anyway, so we got our third fold. This is actually pretty hard to keep like this. And then we make it into a round circle. And then apparently you can interlock the top somehow. Come on, this is way harder than I thought. Just like that. Just shove it into itself. Ha ha, we've gotten it. We have our cylindrical piece of paper. This is looking about as good as I can make it. So uh, let's see if it can fly. Okay, let's see how far this bad boy will go. And one. And a two, and... What? That was actually, uh, that was pretty cool, actually. One more time. Yes, this is the perfect throwing stance, guys. Oh! oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, actually kinda works. I wouldn't say it's the best plane, but it does work pretty good. Here's a fun life hack for you. Did you know that you can take the cup holder full of drinks that you got at McDonald's and put it in the cup holder in your car and it'll hold all four of them? Guys, it's not just a regular cup holder. It's an adapter for your two cup holder. It's a two to four cup holder adapter. I wish they told me this before. Okay guys, we're gonna try this in my Toyota Sequoia. I just got this car. I mean, kind of. It doesn't like, I think the cup holders are in the wrong orientation and that does not feel stable right there. Wait, I have cup holders in the back. Okay, let's try it. I think this will do it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, and I got my drinks everywhere. I think it's because I got this little lump here uh, and it's causing it to not stay in place. Let's try a different vehicle. Oh yes, let's try my good old Tacoma. This looks promising. Mm, that doesn't fit. 
I mean, it'll fit in the cup holder section, I guess. It works like that. For this one, I guess it kind of depends on what car you have, but I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. Here's an easy way to insulate wires. All you gotta do is melt a bottle cap and wrap the plastic around it. Is it really that simple? Is that all we gotta do? Okay, I'll try it. Okay guys, so here are wires that I need connected and I don't have any electrical tape. What am I gonna do? Well, apparently guys, you can just go and stick them together, get a little bottle cap, heat it up, and then you just spin the wire right on the bottle cap. Come on, come on. Ah! Okay, I'll try it again. It's on fire. Oh, it's nice and hot. Just twist our wires like that. This feels actually very impractical. Oh! Oh, it's going around! Nope, try it again. This is a little rough, but I mean, it's kind of working. Maybe a little bit more. One last time, I think this one will do it. <gasps> yes! Just go around, just keep going around. Round town. You know what? I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. I mean, if you really have to, it'll work in a pinch, I guess. I don't know how non-conductive it is. I mean, I guess it is plastic, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. I wouldn't really recommend it, though, unless you really have to. <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. This is for all you lazy motherfuckers that don't wanna wash your dishes. So first, you get a paper towel. You open it up a little bit like that. It's going a little fast, but this is self-explanatory. Uh, you open it up, you got a pouch. You put shit in. The bowl. Okay, guys, so here are our napkins. And then, apparently, you just open up the plies. I hate to pry on these plies, but I kind of need you to open right now. Oh, it's opening. Uh, we have an opening. Beautiful. Wow. We actually have a little snack sack. Look at that. It's almost like a little bowl. This is perfect for my samurai nuts. Just gonna put all my nuts in there. This bag can hold it. I can feel it. I have trust in this bag. Oh, guys! This sack is holding all of my nuts. Ah! No! My nuts! Oh, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It didn't even hold my nuts! They just ripped right through the sack! Here's how to easily clean a hairbrush. All you gotta do is put some school glue all over your hairbrush, let it dry, and you should be able to easily just pull all the glue out. That's pretty gross. Okay guys, so here's our hairbrush. As you can see, there is in fact some hair inside of it. Let's see if we can get it out. Boobity boop, grab some glue and just put it all over our brush. I'm just gonna open this guy up, boobity boop. Oh yes, just putting glue all over my brush. This is my favorite day-to-day -day activity. Learned this one from good old Five Minute Crafts. Oh wait, just kidding, I, I, I found it on TikTok. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Well, we have a couple hours to find out. Uh, leave your prediction down in the comments down below. 24 hours later. Okay guys, it is the next day. And as you can see, the glue is still kind of wet. Look at that, it's still wet. How weird, it doesn't really want to come off. It's just kind of really gross now. Come on, hair. Maybe I used the wrong kind of hairbrush for this. Oh, I think I got some. I'm starting to think that there wasn't enough hair on this for this to work. I can't seem to get it off. This is awful. And now the hair is just glued into it. Do you guys see that? Ew. Well guys, at least with this brush, I'm gonna have to say that this hack uh, doesn't work. I was gonna brush Toby's hair with this, but it's kind of covered in glue now. Oh man, not again. <gasps> Here's a clean and easy way to pour a paint can. All you gotta do is put some painter's tape on the sides and make a little V shape. Wow, that's coming out so clean, but does it actually work? Okay guys, so fun fact, we don't actually clean the desks here. We just kind of grab a sander and then repaint everything. Oh, time to repaint. There we go. So apparently you can just put tape right on like that. I have my doubts about this working super great. Okay, are you guys ready for some aesthetic paint pouring? Ooh. Ah. Woo. Just gonna paint that all up into my desk. Just repaint everything. It looks good. I think I have everything I need. But how clean is our paint can? Oh. I mean, it got all inside the paint can right there. It is all brand new paint right there, as you can see, but it didn't really get any underneath. So I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. Just buy a paint pourer at that point, you know? 
Anyway, on to the next one. Okay guys, did you know that the Apple logo is actually a button? Here's how to get to it. You go to accessibility, and then you go to touch, and then you go to, oh my gosh, there's so many instructions. Double tap, home. Okay, interesting. Well, I'm gonna go bust out my old iPhone and try it. Okay guys, so here is our iPhone, and apparently this Apple logo on the very back is actually a button, but you gotta activate it. Okay, we just go to settings, then we go to accessibility, touch, back tap, oh, it's this guy. Then we do double tap, dude, and then we can do a flashlight! Or we can do a camera or an app switcher. Dude, honestly, there's a lot of utility to this. That's really cool. I'm gonna do flashlight. Well, does it work? It knows that I'm an Android user. That's why it's not working. <gasps> there we go. I was just tapping it way too hard. Does it turn it off? Oh, it just turned off. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Oh. <laughs> That's so weird. The door is locked. I Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And as you guys know, we like to do some spooky things around here, like repaint spirit Halloween masks and prosthetics. And a little while ago, I did a video with my buddy Johnny Gilbert where I did some prosthetics on him and you guys absolutely loved it. So I went ahead and packed up a little bit of everything for my makeup stuff into this box and uh, now I have a portable makeup station. Oh. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time for me to take the magic portal to Los Angeles to go see Johnny. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, oh hey Johnny! How did you get here? Teleport and slide. What? Anyway Johnny, um, I was just uh, wondering, would you want to be in a makeup video with me? I brought all the prosthetic stuff and I got the whole kit right here, look at, it's, I got everything you need. Will this make you leave? Yes. Let's do it. You won't regret this, Johnny. I already am. Okay, Johnny, are you ready? Ready for what? Prosthetics, my boy. Today, I'm gonna be using this Sew Your Mouth Shut prosthetic. So these are your new lips, Johnny. Bro, that's so funny. It looks like a butthole. Why don't you put this over my eye or something? So I'll put this on one eye, and then I'll put one of these on the other eye. Okay. But that way you can still see uh, through one kind of. So first things first, Johnny, we're gonna put your hair up into a palm tree. What happened to my forehead? Why did, why did they get this big? I'll do it too so you don't feel alone. Me and Johnny are twins. This is embarrassing. Okay, Johnny, so the first thing we're gonna need is some spirit gum. Hold your brand new eye. It looks like a nipple. <laughs> Flip that over, and I'm just gonna apply it uh, to, to the, the to the product. prosthetic. Yeah. Oh shit! I got a little gum on your on your shirt. Your shirt. <laughs> the prose got in the eye hole. It's gonna rip my eyelash off. I don't know how Robbie managed to get worse at doing prosthetics, but he did. Everything I know, I learned from Five Minute Crafts. There's no god. I'm trying to avoid your eyebrows as uh, much as I can. Yeah, I think it's too late for that one. <laughs> Then we get a little bit of concealer or foundation. They're both the same thing to me. So now I have one face of concealer and the other face is completely clean. Look, 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 it'll look better once I blend it in, okay, Johnny? Do you even know what blending is? I got a beauty blender, I guess. Dude, this is a rock. I'm just hitting my face with a rock. I got a tiny fan. I'm gonna cool you down. How's that feel? Is that good? No. How, how is this? Is this relaxing? Let me die. <laughs> okay, Johnny, I got some dead face paint. Or do you think I should just use the regular translucent? Well, this one is brand new, so I like just opening brand new things and trying them out for the very first time. Do you know what you're doing? Oh, you're making me like a cake. I'm just gonna cake it on. Because you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> That looks pretty real from the one eye I can see through. That gives me an idea. We should do the other one right now. Oh. Look at that. Not bad. I like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm probably gonna go a little lighter on the spirit gum this time. And by go lighter, I mean use the same amount. Okay, ready? <laughs> You're not gonna be able to see for a little while though. Just relax. It's all good. It's just going on my eyebrow. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. Wow, that looks pretty good actually. Now, just blend in the other eye. All right. La, 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 la. 
I see a lot of uh, prosthetics on my eye. I can see out of one of them. Don't no. worry, I'm gonna put powder on it and oh. it'll make it all better. Yeah, now I can see, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That really changed the ability I had. Okay, Johnny, now for a little spritzy spritz. <laughs> Freaking heck, that scared me. Now I'm gonna blow you. Oh, thank you so much. Just blow it all around. I think I look so good right now, I might just actually do this to myself. This might be my new look. <laughs> So now I'm gonna grab some scar wax and start to blend this bad boy in, which is probably, I should have done that first. <laughs> and I've never used this kind of scar wax before, so bear with me. Oh, wow, I kinda like that. You just kinda dig your finger into it. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. Oh, that looks better. I assume it's like a putty that you're putting on my face. Yeah, it's like a scar wax putty thing. It's like a Whoa. scar putty. You literally told me the exact same thing you've been saying. Yeah, it's like scar wax. Guess what they make it out of? Probably like some weird <laughs> sheep intestines or something. No, scars. This is cheese sauce. Guess what it's made out of? Sauce? Yeah, you're right, it's cheese. No! Wow, honestly, Johnny, you look horrible. <laughs> I can't even see it, okay? You're absolutely gonna love this, especially after I add some bloody scab. But I call this stuff lingonberry jam. Johnny, have I told you how thankful I am for letting me uh, do this to you? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm a good guy. I let my friends rip my eyes out. <laughs> Dude, this is so funny that his lips. Does it look like an eye? It does look like an eye. It looks like a really messed up eye. Okay, so this eye is looking absolutely uh, terrible. And by terrible, I mean fantastic. That looks really believable, actually. And now it's time to maybe do a little magic with this eye. So I'm thinking maybe a little bit of like blood coming off of this from the inside, you know? It looks like this eye got ripped out and this one, it was in the process. You're still stitching up the other one. Honestly, I think we should just completely cover this eye. That way you walk out there and you're like, oh, you can really play your role. You can be like, guys, my eyes, I can't see. I genuinely can't see, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some like blood to like where kind of like the skin is. So it looks like your skin's just starting to pop off, you know? Well, I think, uh, yeah, that should do it. This is the worst eye surgery I've ever gotten. Okay, Johnny, are you ready to show everyone the new you? <sighs> Come on, Johnny, let's go show everyone. Okay, Johnny, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna be like, oh my God, Johnny, there's something wrong with Johnny. Johnny, there's something wrong with Johnny, got you. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, does Johnny always have like weird gashes in his eyes? Guys, what's going on with him? Does he always look like that? Oh my God, that's what he looks like without makeup. Wait, 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 I'm wearing makeup, okay? <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you? Stop out of it. Let me try one. Johnny and me have something to tell you guys. What? what? This whole thing was a prank. What? Wait. You guys have been pranked. What? It's Spirit Halloween makeup. Where? Yeah, no, this is normal. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. Ew. 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 I was gonna say, I dare you to lick it. No, I'm just gonna put it in my belly button. Oh. Damn, bro. What do I even look like? I can't see shit. Ow. Damn. Can I do your makeup next? Absolutely. What's your name again? Scuff. <laughs> Michael. Are you ready for me to be this close to you? More than ready. <laughs> I hope that's not weird. I don't care. Unless you want it to be weird. You know, the weirder the better. Well, Scuff, um, this is where you hold this thing for me. Okay, cool. Because I'm going to put some spirit gum on this bad boy, just right on the edges. Just get it all in there. Now we're going to take our tiny fan, and we're going to start uh, drying the spirit gum, make it nice and tacky, so I can just stick it right on your face. How does this feel with the fan just being in your face? Feels good. It would make me uncomfortable. I don't like things close to my face. There's not much I can do about it, but it's also not bad. It's anyway, not like it's, uh, you can't talk from now on. Um, I'm really sorry. I'll see you later. I guess blink twice if you need help. I don't know, man. I've never done this before. I'm blinking. Help me. Oh, yes. Wow, that actually looks really good so far. Okay, now I just gotta hold this on. I'm really sorry if this smells really bad, too. It's probably burning your freaking nostril hairs. No. Shh. Dude, this actually looks really good already. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some more spirit gum to the edges. Did I put it on sideways? <gasps> I put it on crooked. You have a crooked smile. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dentist really quick. I'm sorry. Here you go. Boop, boop. Oh God, oh God, oh God. <gasps> no, the whole thing came off when you laughed. Okay, I got this. It's okay. It'll come back stronger than ever. I know I'm like all up in your face, so I'm gonna chew some gum. Would you like a piece? I really shouldn't have actually offered you this because I don't know how we're gonna 
<laughs> you might be able to. Okay, it does. Okay. Yeah, you just can't chew it. <laughs> just gonna have to stay in your mouth now. Actually, if right now, if you want to spit it out, it's a good time to do that. Just, it's, <laughs> it's fine. I'm still gonna get a piece of gum though because I am all up in your grill and I'm really sorry. So now we're gonna go ahead and get some scar wax. Just really take all of it out. And then you have to kind of knead it like Play-Doh or oxygen. You also need oxygen, I guess. But that's a different kind of knead. And we just kind of fill in all this with the scar wax, just to kind of blend the edge a little bit. Now I just have to do that all the way around. So now we're gonna use a little bit of concealer and uh, try and blend this in. <laughs> I should have probably used your skin tone now that I'm still stuck on Johnny's skin tone. Just use what I got, I guess. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our dead white face powder. Hey, you ready for Johnny's least favorite part? Now time to blow you with the fan again. Oh yes, now for the final part of the video where we add some lingonberry jam. AKA fake blood, this isn't actually lingonberry jam. Really give it some texture in the teeth. Just really make it like you've been feasting on corpse. And yeah, just go ahead and add a little bit of more blood just around all the crevices. We just need to add a bunch of lingonberry jam, honestly. I didn't know that it was possible to add too much blood, but it kind of looks like I added too much blood. But it covered up all my mistakes. Honestly, it looks really fantastic. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to talk. I'm really sorry. Otherwise, you're gonna mess up the makeup. Okay, are you ready to show everyone what you become? <laughs> okay, let's go. This looks pretty spooky, actually. <laughs> wow. It's kind of crazy how good that looks, especially in like low light. When you can't really see it, it looks great. <laughs> oh, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, it's going fine. I'm just chilling without my eyes. How is like not being able to see go, Johnny? Oh, I've actually gotten very used to it. It's all fine now. Guys, what is that? You guys both go investigate. I don't mind, I'm not scared. It's a puppy. Oh yeah, there's a dog in there. Hello? Uh, muffins? <laughs> That's actually scary as hell. <laughs> this guy is a mess. You look disgusting. I wouldn't look that bad. I look normal. Say something. Do you want to go get some Denny's? Guys, it's really late. It's like it's like it's like midnight right now. So today I got my beautiful girlfriend Tori Dabransky here. Hello, that's me. And today I'm gonna be making her into Coraline. So I found this makeup prosthetic on TikTok. You guys know how much I love prosthetics and how much we love TikTok here. So, you know, we're kind of combining both. So this one's a little different than any other prosthetic I've ever used. This one actually melts on the edges using acetone. Revolutionary technology, I'll tell you that. So the first thing we're gonna have to do, Tori Dabransky, is glue this thing to your face. Okay, now we're gonna take a glue stick and start gluing down her eyebrows. I've actually never done this before. It looked pretty easy. I watched a couple tutorials. Apparently you just grab some glue and just glue them down. You have to do this a couple times. You let it dry, then you redo it. Grab our little fan and just start drying her eyebrows off. So now that her eyebrows are nice and uh, glued down, we're just gonna take our prosthetic and start cutting it open. Like I said, I've never used one of these before, so I don't really know how they work yet, but it appears that it's kind of like pinned down. I'm gonna carefully unpin everything. Now this is what we're left with, this thing. I guess it's like this on the outside. I can't see anything. It appears that these are just holes. I feel like I'm not supposed to break them open, but Tori wants me to break them open. I don't know if you're supposed to, or not. I really wish these things came with instructions. So I'm just poking little holes in here so Tori Brands can see. And also, I thought these, you'd be able to pop the buttons in and out, but it looks like you have to just glue them on. Okay, so next we're gonna take some of this Prozade. Boopity boop. Pour that into a little bowl. Now we're gonna put some Prozade all around your eyes. So now I'm gonna apply this to her face and make sure it's straight on. How's that? It's pretty straight. Oh, but you also don't want this to have any wrinkles in it. Carefully apply some Prozade on the edges. Make sure it's on there and it's on pretty straight. Yeah, it looks pretty straight. Good, good. Then I think I start slowly pulling off this little rim. Go onto her face a little easier. That's so cool! Wow! 
Look at her go. She has no eyes. Where did your eyes go? You can still see my ass though. <laughs> and then we have to get rid of this edge right here. So this kit didn't really come with any instructions. It came with the prosthetic, some buttons, and uh, the box, and that's kind of it. But I looked up some tutorials online, and they said to use some acetone, which is basically uh, just nail polish remover. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this stuff. A little tiny bit. Don't need a lot. Get a little ear swab and dab it into the acetone. And now it's time for the magic part. You ready? So apparently it just melts it onto her face. I'm just gonna try it on the edge right here and see how it looks. Wow, that's pretty cool so far. I'm just gonna melt the edges real good. Yeah, you just carefully go in and start ripping it off and blend the seams together. And there we go, it's all dissolved onto your face. I'm gonna blend out the edges with some of this acetone and melt it onto your face all the way. Besides that, it's looking pretty good. Then we take our tiny fan and just start drying it off for a little bit. So now we're gonna get some concealer and just start uh, blending this into her face. Kinda get it a little bit of everywhere. Tori's probably judging me right now. She's like, this isn't how you do it. <laughs> and now we just start blending. Okay, we got the concealer all blended in, and now we're gonna add some finishing powder. Okay, so now that our makeup is all finishing powdered, we're gonna go ahead and bring in some finishing spray. We're double finishing her. Robbie, you warned me. Uh -huh. You sprayed that right in my eye. And now it's time to add the button eyes. I'm just gonna use a little dab of Prose to hold them in. Wow, Tora Debrask, you look absolutely fantastic. Let me just fluffify your hair. How's that? Is that good? Um. <laughs> you look really spooky. Yeah? Do you want to go show Luna? Yes, I want to show Luna. I want her to join me. Luna, Luna, Luna. Okay, Tora Debrask, so I'm going to go down and distract the girls okay. while you hide inside your teddy bear. Okay. And then later you're gonna come out and be like, come join me on the other side. Good, good plan, let's do this. Oh my gosh, oh! Hey Luna, hey! How's it going? Hey, there's, it seems like there's, what? 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 There's something over here. Over here? Yeah, come, oh, try and get over here. Wait, I think it might be outside. It's outside? This way? Yeah, go out that way. Okay. Go into the light. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna lock this really quick. <laughs> Door to hide, hide, hide yeah. inside of there. Yes, you're good. Teddy bear? I locked him outside. <laughs> they can see me. Oh! Oh, is that you, Luda Ghostus? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's so weird. The door is locked. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how the heck that door got locked. I'm really sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Do you see that? It's just your Tory doll. What? You don't have a Tory doll. Yep. What? Oh god. Like teddy bear mattress Tory doll. Oh, and the monkey. Your Tori doll just looked at me. <laughs> Hi Luna. Join me, Luna. No. Join me. Join me. You gotta join me. Join me. Join me. No, no, no. Join me, Luna. Well, time to give you some button eyes. Okay. Tori's eyes are closed right now. She said she's gonna take a nap while I do Luna's makeup. <laughs> I don't think her eyes are open right now. Pick her nose, pick her nose. <laughs> Okay, let's go do your makeup. All right, let's go. Okay, now I basically have to do that entire thing to Luna now. And since you guys basically saw how I did the entire thing, I'm just gonna make this a really quick time lapse. Wow, you look really scary. Ooh. I think I did a pretty good job on your makeup. Tori's was a little bit wrinkly down here. Dude, you can't even see it on this side. I did a really good job on this side. Anyway, are you ready to show Tori Dabransky? Yeah, rawr. Let's go. Oh, hey, Tori Dabransky. What are you doing there? Oh, hey, I'm just watching my favorite movie. What's your favorite movie? It's Coraline. Are you ready to see Luna's makeup? <gasps> yes. Luna, get in here. Oh, my God, friend. I brought you a friend. Friend, friend, best friend, 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 best friend, land. Best friend land. This is good. <laughs> So do you want to like, you know, go out shopping? Go get new some eyes? new buttons? Yeah, I would love that. a little bit. Yes. Okay, well let's go. Let's go. Okay, Luna, it's time to get out of here. All right, let's go. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's me, your girl, Tori, and Luna Ghostess. And today we have a very exciting haul for you guys. So we went to 
Walmart, you know, like we do. And we got some cool eyes. There are many shapes, colors, sizes, cards. Hey, Luna, you're the sun in my eyes. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Look at us go. Oh yeah, in case you guys can't tell, these are googly eyes. Cheers. You ready? One, two. <laughs> okay, okay guys, so this is the googly eyes. I really like them if you're in a fun, funky mood. <laughs> what are you guys doing? This is my YouTube channel, not your guy. What is going on with your eyes? Robbie, we're the button sister. This is clearly our YouTube channel. Can't you like see? Did you steal Toby's eyes again? No, these are ours. <gasps> we went out and bought them with our hard earned money. From our YouTube channel. <laughs> You guys look nuts. I think this is the best we've ever looked. This is it. And I can kind of see when I go like this. God, what do we always say? Keep an eye out for new eyes. <laughs> what did I miss? 